what vinegar to use. So I only use apple cider vinegar. And um, for extract purposes, I use pasteurized apple cider vinegar. But as I look in here, there's like mother pieces. And so I don't know. I think vinegar, no matter, even if it, I, I've, I've had this happen so mu many times, um, which is kind of a good thing. That means they didn't like kill everything. But um, even if it's heated and pasteurized, it still can grow the mother back. The thing is, if I start with the, the vinegar with the mother, um, <clears throat> it will get funky kind of like it doesn't last as long now if you keep stored in the fridge it's pretty good like a maybe a year but if you don't and you leave it out um, if you have like one warm day it could just it could go funky okay so so pasteurized. yeah oh. um, and it can grow the mother like even as you're trying to make the tincture like with the herbs in it. Mm -hmm. So I use the pasteurized, and as I was saying, it's still like even the pasteurized, like this is pasteurized, and I look in here and there's like mother pieces at the top. So I'm gonna use your vinegar for yours. Um, probably because I had this for a little while, like if you have vinegar just sitting for a while, like it grows it back. <clears throat> but you can kind of solve that by storing your vinegar tinctures in the refrigerator. Now, I don't find it as convenient, so I don't always do that. I like to put them in those two ounce bottles. And what I'm doing is I'm just filling up the jar, you know, just to like the lip. <clears throat> Are we adding the dill now or later? You guys have the dill. You could split that between the two of you. Or maybe I'll add a little to Nans. Um, I have plenty at home, so I'll just add mine when I get home. You guys can do that. You can take sure? it. So you add the vinegar yeah, all the way to the top, and then you shake. It's called agitate the jar. And then there's some other things to be aware of when you work with vinegar. <clears throat> do you have wax paper? I have parchment. Parchment would be fine. Um, save plastic lids, like, uh, you know, peanut butter or something. Like, sometimes you have, you purchase. My gift to you. Oh, well, these are, this is going to you. Oh, I love these things. Thank okay, you. then I won't need this. Sorry, I took your parchment. You said to the lip, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you use a lid that has metal, like even though this is like seal coated, the metal will rust from the vinegar. Oh, don't. Even if you don't shake it, it still like somehow goes up and rusts. So you don't want that. Um, that's where I would have used the parchment. So what I would have done, or wax paper, is I take it and I put it over the top and then I put my lid down to protect, to keep the metal separate <clears throat> because, excuse me, every day you're going to agitate the jar. This is called agitating just so that the particles all get saturated um, or the leaves and everything. If you just let it sit, the top tends to dry out and can spoil, could mold. Um, so you want to like do this typically more than once a day. And I put mine at a sunny window in my kitchen. So I don't, that window is nice yeah, and sunny. Over there. You want to use a sunny window. Now, I, I don't know where this came from, but the internet, like people are like saying, oh, you, you make them in the cabinet. And yeah. that's not true. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know who, I don't know who started posting that or, and then it got all around. <clears throat> You extract them in the sun, and um, after you strain them, you put them in the cabinet. Maybe because some people do their oil infusions that way. Where? In the cabinet. 
like in the cabinet. No, you don't do anything in the anything. Cabinet. No, <laughs> you need the power of the sun. It's a solar infusion. You're using natural sunlight to help pull the material into the. It's called menstruum into the liquid. So I don't know where someone got that. Ne never in any thing that I've ever done was I taught that. So a lot of people blog and post to make money. There might be brilliant marketers or content people, but they're not herbalists. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, find stuff and they make great websites and they make money on it, but they're not necessarily doing it. Mm -hmm. um, that's pet peeve too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> sunny windowsill. <clears throat> And you said a couple times a day? Like two, like two or day. three times. If you have a plastic lid, then you then that problem is solved. And that really is better. Like you really it's better than doing the the paper in between. This is like safe. Um, so you agitate and sometimes like the material swells, as you can already see. Sometimes I might add a little bit more vinegar and then the next day or two because you can see it like kind of shrink down. Um, I usually don't have to do that with the alcohol or anything, but the vinegar one I noticed like I might have to add, like I would add a little bit more to yours. And, um, and then you have to label. Can I borrow your pen? Yes, Typically you should have a Sharpie so it wouldn't... Are you getting a Sharpie? I just bought more labels because I was like, I'm the worst at like, like crap. What was this? So oh, I'm going to just say kidney tonic, and I put in all the herbs, so juniper, marshmallow, marshmallow root, um, horsetail. Do you want this to label? I'll just, yeah. Corn I silk. Mean, I'll do it at home. Hops. Yeah, it just takes a minute more to label, but sometimes and dill. I'm just well. I was just right looking at my dried basil and my um, I had put it in my apothecary thing, and I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> oh yeah, that's not. I'm like, I gotta put labels on that today. <laughs> and then you have to put. Okay, so then I have to put apple cider vinegar, and then today's date. And you should even put the year. Uh, then you're going to let that sit for two weeks on the sunny shelf. Sunday, sunny windowsill. And after that time, you're straining it. Now, I don't so, really... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, so that would be uh, November 8th. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Or no, that's one week. November fifteenth, fourteenth or fifteenth. Or bring it with me. Mm -hmm. So you do. If you have a strainer that is not metal, it would probably probably be best to strain it. I do just strain through the metal. I don't like let it sit. Like if I'm doing an alcohol, I'll like let this sit and I'll push down and like strain it all out. Now this is just me. You could put it, cheesecloth in, that would be better. Pour it through and then lift out the cheesecloth and squeeze it. If I'm going quick, I might just pour it through and then I dump the herb. I don't want to let it stay on the metal, the vinegar on the metal. So the best is a non-metal strainer. Yeah. Or if you can line it with cheesecloth. Which is really cheap at Echo Yeah, I think I have actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to pass that down? Is this okay with vinegar? Yep. And that will last a while, but I definitely will keep the jar in the fridge. If you want to pour it into a two ounce bottle to leave out, because you're going to take it every day, like with the dropper. That should be fine for, you know, a number of weeks uh, that you don't have to put that in the fridge. But this jar, if you have that whole jar out for months and months, like, it's going to spoil. So, store that away. 
Now, how many drops would you take <clears throat> of this a day? Um, I would say 20 at least. Yeah. You know, that's a full dropper. If you would feel, um, I don't know, if you know what the beginning of like a bladder infection kind of feels like, or if you feel like kidney stress or anything, I would take it three times a day. Um, if you've been drinking soda or some other kind of like fast food, if you've had like any processed food, I would take it three times a day. Oh, yeah, I know. I just got excited on that one too. <laughs> Here, can I have a Right? <laughs> That's exactly what I was just thinking. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry, you said so once this sits for two weeks and we uh -huh. strain it, we're going to put some in our bottle to use, but then store the rest of this in the fridge. Yeah, so what I usually do is, like, I'll strain it into another jar mm -hmm. or cup, and then I'll rinse this one out, mm -hmm. and then I just pour it back in because it's already labeled. And okay. then you just throw away those. Yeah, or compost them. Mm -hmm. um, and then mm -hmm. when you have it back in your clean jar, you're saying that's when you would put it in these yeah. bottles, right? Yeah, so then you could cipher... Some, siphon some into the bottle. You can leave that out. Okay. Just don't leave it out in like a hot place. Mm -hmm. That's um, when it would go in the cabinet. You could put it in a or cabinet like or like a, you know, if you do have it in the kitchen, if you had like a dark corner or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I would probably put that in the cabinet. And then this can go in the fridge. Okay. It could go in the cabinet if you were going to use it really fast, like <laughs> within four weeks or something. But... I don't think you will use it that fast. So that amount of herbs mm -hmm. is for one one jar mm -hmm. of this. That's more than I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's quite a good. Do you have any idea how long this lasts at taking just the 20 drops daily once a day? Like, have you ever done this whole jar? Um, how long would that last? <laughs> if you don't know, I mean, it's not um, important. I was just Only curious. 20 drops. I, I think maybe six months. Wow, okay. And you would do it for mm -hmm. the full six months daily, or is there a certain amount of days or month and then take a break? Or? Well, I was always taught that you should take breaks. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, Dr. Christopher, he used to teach that you take a break on the seventh day. So, like, six days you take the same things, and then seventh wow. day you take a break. And then he would say, like, seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Like, he would do the seven cycles. Wow. So, um, whatever you're taking. Now, some herbs, like echinacea, it's recommended you just take two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, as this is a tonic formula, 